Hello, we are talking about fall cleanse and detox. I know that this is backwards too. It says dandelion ginger. Um, this is the tea that I'm having right now. So here's my tea. I have dandelion every day. It doesn't have to be that tea. There are a million different dandelion teas. I've had a cold, as you know. It's it's been it's been really. I mean, I've been resting a lot. I t in another video I told you like all the different things that I was doing to support my mucous membranes and my hydration and all that. It's fall. I'm wearing my happy sweater. It's not quite cold enough for this sweater, but I'm. Imp Can you hear mischief? She's singing the song of her people. I love it when cats do that. Anyway. Um, you know, I've been sick for a week. I've had to miss like so many things, so many things I wanted to do. I'm missing stuff right now. I'm supposed to be teaching yoga and nobody wants a sick person in a yoga studio teaching them yoga. It's fair. I don't want to do it. I could probably cough. I'm going to try really hard not to cough during this, but I want to show you what I'm doing now that I'm at this stage. And also it's fall. It's good to do a cleanse. But here's what we need to know about a cleanse. You guys, our bodies are so good at cleansing. All we really have to do is support our natural systems, specifically our lymphatic system. We have these lymph nodes all over the place. When we move, we are helping our lymphatic system. Our lymphatic system works side by side with our circulatory system, but it doesn't have a pump. Our circulatory system has a pump, it's our heart. When we get a heart rate up, when we move around, that helps our circulatory system. We all know that, we all learned that in PE. We didn't learn as much about our lymphatic system. Our lymphatic system does not have a pump. It, it gets some benefit from the movement in our circulatory system, but it also really benefits from movement and specific types of movement. So. We're going to do practice for movement that will support our lymphatic system. Specifically, I'm really wanting to support mine to help me just get through all of this virus that I've been dealing with. And then we can do things to support cleansing like the dandelion tea. It doesn't have to be dandelion. It could be nettle, but so many different things. And also like eat fiber in every bite, drink a lot of water, but not too much just a good normal amount of water. Basically, don't don't go on weird, this is me giving you advice, don't go on weird like cleansing, I'm gonna only eat a certain thing for four days. Just don't do that. I used to work in an eating disorders clinic. It's not good and I mean, if, you, <coughs> if you're working with some sort of a specialist and they're going to supervise you, okay, but just on your own, don't just randomly starve yourself. Just please don't. Eat fiber in every bite. Don't eat too much. Eat whole foods. Eat the rainbow every day. Eat a good amount of food that you enjoy. Drink a good amount of water. Have some dandelion tea. Have some matcha every day. It does have caffeine, but it's just have some matcha. These, this is my advice for your cleansing all the time and especially in fall. Also in fall, we need a little more grounding because it, it gets very windy and we just need more grounding. And so you might do more um, self-massage. So let's jump into just the simplest little lymphatic supporting practice. Basically, what we want to do, we have our lymph nodes, they go all the way up our whole body. We want to go from the ground up and then from up down to the ground. So that's what we're going to be doing. So start by just pumping your feet. Wiggle your toes, pump your feet. Roll your ankles. You can go slower than I'm going. 
Okay, now when you're satisfied with that, start to pump your knees. So you're basically turning your whole body into a pump. So pump your knees. By definitions, your hips will start to bend as well. I did this um, standing with my class last week and they really liked it. You could be doing all this standing. I'm doing it sitting just because, you know, I am getting over this cold and stuff and I'm not trying to overdo it and I don't want to cough. Okay, and then your hips. So just hinging, using your body as a pump and just thinking about your moving lymph up, kind of gathering it all up. Now start to come into your fingers, same deal that you did with your feet. I'm gonna keep my hip movement going. You could even kind of combine all of it. Maybe I'll do some of that. Um, well, no, because I don't want to cough, but you could be doing everything all at once. But your fingers, your wrists, your elbows. shoulders. Okay, now you've kind of got everything up. Get your head in. Some movement here, getting things moving. Now, we have very important parts of our lymphatic system right here underneath our collarbone. So just very gently um, kind of work that a little bit. Don't press too hard. Don't press too hard. It's more like little tugs. You can come down your neck a little. There's a specialty of lymphatic massage if you ever have a chance to get one. Get one, you'll learn a lot. We're not doing a whole lymphatic massage, we're using movement. But here we are, so just supporting. Okay, thank you, lymph nodes, for working so hard. You can, you can go down under your arms and around your torso. We have a lot, your groin, like that's a whole thing you can do for some lymphatic massage. But basically for this, we're just gonna now head straight back down. So here we go, head. Doesn't have to be perfect. Shoulders. Again, you can really take your time with this and be luxurious. Elbows. Wrists. Fingers. It's kind of funny. It's a funny movement. And then hinging at the hips. Is this fun? I think it's kind of fun. I couldn't do this when I was like actively sick. I'm I'm in the I'm in the super recovery phase part. Okay, your knees. ankles, toes, and then shake it out, shake it all out, shake it all out. And notice, how do you feel? Do you feel happy? Do you feel energy in your body? Yeah, so super quick practice. Have some dandelion tea if you want. Do those other things I mentioned and consider doing this lymphatic practice as part of your fall cleanse or just every day. It's, it's good for you. Okay, see you next time. Oh, please like. Okay, bye.